I meet a talking spear. I heard a clattering noise turning and I saw the spear on the ground in front of the ballroom fireplace. I walked over to it and touched the bottom of it. Hi, my name's Mia. What's yours? I shot up. My eyes darted across the room. No one was there. I looked back down at the spear. Did, did you just... I bent back down and touched the bottom of the spear again. Yes, I just spoke. Now, are you going to answer my question? The voice said again. Uh, um, Jake? Well, Jake, would you be interested in being my owner? Why would I need a spear? Then again, this isn't a normal spear. Who knows what else this thing can do? Uh, yes, I think. Yay, you just put the shirt on top of me and turn around until I tell you to turn back. So I did what the voice said. Okay, done. A female voice said behind me. I turned around and saw a brown-haired girl with gray eyes. She was wearing a gray t-shirt, which was several sizes too big. She had to hold the collar to her neck. As I looked down, I noticed the spear was gone. Are you the spear? Yes, and I have a name. It's Mia. Oh, sorry. Uh, what now? I asked. We see a video. She walked incredibly close up to me. How? She grabbed my necklace and yanked on it. At this, at that point, she stood on her toes and kissed me. That's how I got my first ever kiss from a girl, spear, hybrid thing. We rolled back on our heels, and I slowly leaned back. Wow, your first ever kiss! I spun around to see my friend Daniel. He had green hair tied back into a short ponytail, gray shirt and jeans. I looked back at Mia, then to Daniel. This is not what it looks like. So you're not making out with a girl wearing only a t-shirt. I gave a defeated sigh and told him everything. After Daniel gave me a pair of clothes that he had that he had in his bag, he made a plan to meet me at, at the visitor's entrance at the end of camp. Daniel got picked up almost immediately, so I was stuck coming up with an ex coming up with a way to explain to my sister why she will should let a homeless teenage girl stay at, our, stay at our home. Mary, my sister, was leaning on the hood of her white car. Hey, Mary, this is Mia. She needs a place to stay. To stay, and I was wondering if she could come stay with us tonight. Sure, Mary replied. What about your parents? Mia asked. Missionary trip to Costa Rica. Mary said as she got, got into the car. Get in. You'll be sleeping on the futon tonight, Mia. Yeah.